Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the HP and Mana Show. I am Mana, and today I will be playing Path of Exile, Episode 3. So, please just sit back and enjoy me playing this. So, last episode, I finished off here in town, and I had grabbed uh, a new quest called A Dirty Job. And it's an optional quest, but I'm still going to do it anyway, so... I'm going to go check out my waypoint and go to the coast. So, um, I'm pretty close to leveling up. So, hopefully I'll be able to level up right away as soon as I kind of get in here. That was a fast loading time. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is the direction that I should be going. And I don't have any zombies yet, so I'm going to work on getting those guys first. And I gotta kill these guys. There we go. There's my first next level, actually. Uh, pick these guys up, these guys up, raise him, and I'm just gonna come right here. Level up. So last time I put into intelligence. Now, I could put more into intelligence, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go this way and go to increased spell damage so I can kick even more ass. Now, if I'm doing my build wrong, if you guys know, you know, think you know a better way of, of doing this, feel free to, to let me know, to tell me what I should be doing, what, you know, is the most powerful way to go into, because, you know, I'm all for, uh, for constructive criticism. We'll call it that. So, let me know. Give me a, give me a heads up. Tell me what I should do, and or what you think I should do. Suggestions. I'm all ears. So, oh, cool. What are these? Look at these things. These are weird looking, bird-like things. This is interesting. All right, killed all you, motherfuckers. You dead. You all dead. I lit you all on fire. Oh, what's that? Looks like there's a quest. Hey, look at that. Cool. These guys are coming right out from the mud. That is, I like that. That keeps things very interesting. Okay. You're all gone. Oh, Roha Nest. Ooh, what is this? Find a use for the strange glyph in the mud flats. I will do that. Alright. Now, raise myself another zombie and, oh, scroll of wisdom. Another, man, there's chests everywhere. This way this is always this is awesome oh, some dead there's a great rohoa there I don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce it but that's how I'm going to pronounce it oh, some dripping dead you didn't get very far did you huh you all dead you're even deader now now that I'm through with you oh another roha nest look at that all right, let's keep going. Keep on searching. Nothing in that chest. Barrel. Oh, I can't pick that axe up, though, because because I've got that. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if those guys are worth more or the same, but I'm still going to pick them up anyways. Oh, I guess I can do that. Oh, crap, all my guys died. There must be some hard bosses over here. Or they just suck that bad that they actually need my help to do stuff. Oh, Freezing Shrine. Why is it not dying? I hope that I don't have to go over there. Because that would not be fun. I'm gonna kinda I guess go around it. Keep my keep my distance, you know, I don't trust it yet. More was. Oh, you guys are just you're just dying so easy. Rusted spike. What is that? Oh, I'm going to pick it up because it takes up less space than that guy. Now, can I walk into the water? I can kind of walk into the water, actually. Armor scrap. I want to pick that up. I don't know if I'm going to drown if I go into the water, so I don't want to go too far into the water. But I'm going to walk around and... Oh, there's another, another chest. Some rawhide gloves. Make some room. Do I even need to make some room for these? Probably not. 
improves the quality of an armor. So I don't know if that makes a difference as to what armor it is that is improving, but I just, well, I upgraded that quality. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Let's keep on searching. Searching for what this thing does, because I have no idea. Oh, there's more dripping dead. Use those fireballs. Oh, raise some raise some zombies to do my bidding uh-huh shoot some fireballs oh, more horrors and summon some more undead oh a portal scroll look at that that is very helpful i always like to be able to go back to town in a hurry you know although it's really not that far away in the slightest but oh, what's that there the fetid pool. I believe I have to go there, so before I do that, I'm just gonna see if I can find a use for that glyph. Maybe there's one close to me. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. There's another one of those rusted spikes. Oh, there's another Roa nest. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. Tell me, you know. How I should be pronouncing it. Oh, look at that. Scare mask. Evasion reading. I'm guessing that's for somebody else. For some other type of class. Seems like there's some class, some class specific gear. So that's, uh, that's a good way to go. Driftwood scepter. I'm going to pick that up. Just uh, for no reason at all, because I can. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Looks like a, oh, another one of those carving, a weathered carving. Another one. All right. Oh, read it. Okay. And that thing is going up again, so I still got to figure. Oh, looks like there's another quest up there. Man, there is all kinds of stuff just dropping at my feet here this chest find nothing of course I got lots of ways to go oh shit there's a special guy right there you ain't got nothing on me you ain't got nothing on me I just gotta keep running and shooting fireballs at you oh shit oh shit my zombies are all dead no no keep on running I'm poisoned oh look at that yeah I'm pretty amazing. All right. Now it looks like I've got quest marks kind of all over the place. So I'm wondering if I should. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up, but I did. Okay, so that means that I already, I guess, went there. Explore the mud flats. So I just got to keep kind of exploring for now, anyways. And finding more dead, more ghouls and. Z oh no, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Coral ring. Hmm. Chain belt. Oh my god, all my guys are dead. I think there's... Oh, there's another beast thing there. Look at that guy. Another... Oh, he's just a special one. Gotcha. But he really... Oh, cool. I got something that's corrupted. I wonder what that means. Oh, superior... Fish scale gauntlets. Look at that. Alright, more of these guys. Let's see what that is. Uh, plus one maximum number of zombies. Oh, well, that's interesting. Now, does corrupted mean that I can identify it? No, it just means that it's corrupted. Now, should I wear it? I kind of like that, to be honest with you. That is a pretty nice amulet, so I'm going to keep that and probably disenchant or sell that. So, alright, let's keep going. Let's see what else is out here. Chainmail vest. Well, it looks like there's really just nothing more. And I'm guessing that that cave back there is probably what I'm looking for. So, kill this last zombie. Padded vest. I think getting to the point where, where I don't really need to pick every single thing up. So, I'm not going to anymore. So I'm just gonna come on back. Oh yeah, I looked at you already. 
And I'm gonna come right up here and see. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, look at that. So I did that. Ooh, the submerged passage. I wonder, uh, I wonder where this goes. I wonder if this is somewhere. It's gonna give me something good. It's exciting. I'm excited to see. Oh. Or is it just literally just a shitty passage to nowhere? Oh, there's a waypoint there. Oh, look at that. I guess that's what I needed to move on. So instead of going that way first then, I am going to go this way and go to um, wherever that place is. Oh yeah, I got a level still. All right. So... 3% increase cast speed, 10% increase spell damage. Well, I could go the speed way or the damage way. I'm going to go with the damage way. Yeah, pure glass cannon. That's, you know, that's how I roll. I wish I had some sort of teleport or something like that. That would be awesome right now. But I'm okay with not having one. So the fetid pool, this is where my other quest is that I'm supposed to do something uh, oh, kill all the monsters in the fetid pool that's what I'm supposed to do so hopefully this isn't a ridiculously big place and I can kind of get everything what is that bone rollers oh and more bone skeletons sweet I like killing skeletons it's fun skeletons are just you know they're easy to kill they're undead not like the zombies but oh who's that guy dark roar if he actually roars holy crap he does some serious damage no why did I do that again okay seems like that does good damage oh corroded blade shark tooth claw oh that doesn't look too terrible okay oh look at all those portal scrolls awesome spike bundle I think that's a shield it is a shield all right that guy up too. Time to keep on searching for every last one to kill. All these dripping dead, look at them. Falling like dominoes. Easy peasy. Easy just to... Ooh, gnarled branch. I didn't really need to pick that up. I kind of did by accident because there's like three more right there. And I probably don't need to pick those guys up either. So, Alright. Ooh. A glass shank, another one. Time to use that fireball. Man, that fireball really does some serious damage. I wish it did a little bit bigger AoE damage, you know, like more area damage, but, you know, you can't win them all. So, alright. Let's see, did I, should I, no, I'm gonna drop that, because that is ridiculous. You know, 15 and, oh, energy shield. Energy shield 5, chance to block 22%. Ooh, that's better. I get an evasion rating and reflects percent physical damage to melee attackers. 10% ooh, spell damage though. Just ponder on that for a little bit. Let me go and kill some things first, and then I'll come back and decide whether or not... Oh, I just noticed that. If you hold alt, like as if you were looking for items... Oh, a necromancer that's probably who I'm mainly here to kill and he's killing all my guys that I necromanced come on oh crap they are kicking my ass right now oh why do I keep doing that oh no I think I'm trapped come on I can get out of this oh maybe if I use my Number three. Oh, that is awesome. That number three really helped me out there. Now it's time for you, Defiler, to feel the wrath of mana. <laughs> Suck on this, cadaverous. Oh, original. Oh, yeah, you did, sucker. All right, King. Okay. I'll take out the rest of his minions. That is awesome. 
A dirty job. That's ooh, an orb of transmuting. Rotted round shield. I wonder if that's probably worth something. Corroded blade, maybe. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. Extra, extra mana. Okay, so I've got... Oh, I've already got two rings. Look at that. Fancy. Now, time for me to kill everything else. If there is anything else. Oh, what was I saying before? I can't remember if I finished that sentence, but if you hold Alt down, like as if you were to look for items, you also notice chests. See, look at that. That's cool. Can't believe I just realized that now. Yes, I can be slow sometimes on these things, but I got it. I got this. Looks like that chest. Woo! I am a chest fiend. I love chess. You get such good random loot. And I love killing zombies. I do not say that enough. Killing zombies is my favorite thing to do. Like, black ops, zombies, definitely. My favorite thing to do. Not just black ops, but also, uh, what was that other game? The Call of Duty World at War? Yeah. Original zombies? Killer. So many hours on that. That was just so much fun. All right. Now. Large life flask. Spear iron greaves. Coral ring. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting lucky in here. Getting all kinds of stuff. Okay, now how many guys do I have left? There's a lot of things to kill in here. I'm probably going to level again from this. This is awesome. I like all this. All these zombies to kill. Alright, those are all cleared out. Now I can come back down here. And look for... Oh, there's another one. I gotta kill them all. Gotta kill them all. Oh, orb of augmentation. I like stuff. I like getting fancy things. Raise my zombie. Oh, another. Look at that. Look at all the unique guys in here. That is awesome. Hopefully I'll get something good from him too. Something legendary? No. But it is. Oh, I got to make myself a little bit of room here, I guess. I know I don't really have the best, uh, best packed bags right now, but what should I drop? I mean, this is about as efficient as I'm really going to get for this time. I'll drop that corroded blade and pick that guy up. Oh, and it's unidentified. Better identify it. Plus 12 strength. That doesn't help me out at all. 11%. I'm going to keep those guys. Mana regen and extra. Or life regen and extra life is always helpful. Oh, better identify that sword too. Okay. All right. So, I killed everyone in here. Now it's time for me to summon that guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to town. This is, uh, you know, about it for me for tonight. I'm going to uh, log off. So, uh, please make sure that you tune in for episode for for next time and please don't forget to like and feel free to comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the HP and Mana show